go. So we got a call for a Jeep that is up near Spanish Fork that's on this little narrow trail hanging on the side of a mountain. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get it out. So we've got a four hour drive ahead of us. Lucky for you, we're not gonna be streaming it live. It's gonna be like that for you. Well, there'll be a couple of these. All right, well, I got my hands full. It's a brisk 40 degrees. So we're gonna fuel up. Johnny Boy's a few minutes behind. We're gonna go meet where the customer is. And then what? Then we're gonna go get a Jeep off the mountain. We're gonna go get him out. I'm are you... just uh, coming around the point of the mountain, so. Okay, are you hungry? Yeah, I, I should be, how about that? Okay, <laughs> there's, a, there's a Beto's Mexican restaurant right here. Does that sound tantalizing? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll let you know. So Johnny Boy's about 30 minutes out. I'm thinking we should just eat lunch right here. At Beto's? Sure, I like Mexican food. Trevor, how do you feel about it? No comment. You call us the three amigos because Trevor wants to uh, me go out of that place. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had lunch yet? Yeah. Oh, dang it. I was gonna buy you lunch. <laughs> we haven't had lunch yet. You can get an ice cream. All right. Okay. That way. It's really nice. All right. Is that Buckmaster Johnny? Buck, buck, buck. Another nice buck. Yeah. <laughs> Got an emergency. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna go as high as the snow is, but that's where we're going, right? You can't even see my finger pointing because it's behind the burrito. Between this and my finger. As a Canadian, oh, you can't see my finger because it's behind oh, the drink. The <laughs> there you go. We just picked up the customer. It's Ryan. He's he. Uh, service his cell phone towers, that's how he got in this predicament, is he followed his GPS up a tricky way. And now we're just gonna look for a place to unload and see if we can get our rigs up the mountain to where he is and get get something done. I hope Rudy's doing a better job vlogging than I am. <laughs> so we went and ate lunch at that, what is that? No, that, regardless. We went and ate lunch, picked up Johnny Boy. And it's picked called up the Betos. Shush, you just ruined it. Show some respect. So we just had lunch at Beto's and uh, we were waiting for Johnny Boy there and we picked up the customer and now we're heading out to the actual job. I'm separating from my dad. He's gonna come up from the bottom and I'm gonna come up through the top. That will just hit, set us up better for the recovery that we're planning on doing. We haven't seen it yet. So our best bet is to come in from both directions. So Rudy, um, Go check that way if you can't make it through, I guess just follow me up this side. Okay. So he's up here I'll somewhere and we're trying to find Rudy a route into him up on top. Cause I don't yeah. know if we can get past. The original route was just right down here, but it's closed, but there's another route further down. Plus you have four wheel drive, so nothing's really closed. Uh, it says no trespass. Man. All right, let's go. trespassing hi there there's someone stuck in their Jeep that was heading up to the radio tower to do work on it we we're wondering if we could have access to this road to go get him unstuck you know I don't have the key the house up there has the key oh so you think it would be fine then just to go up to the house and ask I'd just go up to the house and ask if they have the key okay yeah so Lizzie wasn't able to come with us so I told Johnny Boy he could come. I didn't tell him Lizzie wasn't coming. So guess who gets to do the sketchy stuff today? That's me. Is this my left turn? I think so. We made it through the property, through the gate. This is on a mining property where this guy got stuck. And the real access to the towers that he was supposed to go work on is this road we're on right now. And it's pretty well maintained. A regular pickup truck can make it if you had authority. Or permission. Or permission. So we'll go up to the tower and then we'll drive off the guy that led us through the gate actually said that road is nicknamed Suicide Road. And that is super not like hope inspiring. <laughs> he says people roll their ATVs off of it all the time. Oh, an ATV road, isn't it? All right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want out? I suggest I get out now. Uh, I'll take out. This is like a four-wheeler trail. 
This is nuts. This is not good. I don't like this. There's not a lot that we've done that sketched me out. This is the worst. How's it? How's it looking on your side? Um, well, we had to get permission from the property owner, which we now have. Okay. Uh, are you up to it already? Yeah. Take yeah. Five, man. I'm gonna. Okay, mate. So you can see the mountains in the background. That's pretty much level. This is steep. Good thing Jamie's not here. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know about you, but I don't want to drive down there. Well, I wouldn't want to. In an unconventional manner. Well, this road don't get any better as you go up. It gets a little bit worse. <clears throat> I don't like it one bit. So do they tell you which way to come up or you gotta figure it out by yourself? I gotta figure it out and Google Maps says this is the way. Yeah, no warning whatsoever, huh? No sign, no gate, no nothing. Yeah. Okay, this is where things get suspicious. So there's the, there's the towers right there. So drive up this road, let's see if we can see them. This is the road. Oh my God. What the? That's the road he's trying to come up. I don't know if you know that. But that's straight down from me. Look, level, and then I'm just gonna turn it around. <laughs> I think he did that very well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't see him yet. Look how crazy this is. Down this road right here. Okay, this is our road. And we go down the. <laughs> yep, let's go. Okay, I saw the top of Johnny Boy's head, so I'm gonna walk down this trail a little ways and see how bad it is, because there's no turnaround. It's pretty gnarly. That side swipe road. It's too narrow, man. Yeah. How so does this look? This pretty one looks good. good. It gets steep down there. Okay. But it was nothing real bad that I saw. That's fine. This is a pretty good view. Yeah, there is. How far down is he, Johnny? He's still a little ways down there. So, okay, I'll get in and I'll uh, start driving down. All right, cool. Rudy, here's the problem. There is no turning around on this and there is no backing down. This gets super steep in a minute, like what you won't be able to back back up. Why don't you shut your Jeep off? 
park it there. You have your snatch block in there? Yeah. Grab your snatch block and come down here. These trees are garbage, but they're not complete garbage. Are you thinking of snatch blocking off of one of them? Yeah, see, it's gonna take some pressure to get that out, right? Not much, but some. <laughs> if it was straighter, I think the Morvair could back off. And I'm thinking forward might be the best way, except for what, did you walk up this road? I walked up this and came down the other one. And he's pretty steep where he's at right now, and I know it gets a little bit It gets bit steeper. steeper. What do you guys think for traction? Would you be able to go up that? I can climb up that. He doesn't have lockers though, so oh. he's gonna have to be pulled up it. Right. To get up this would kind of be, I mean, I think mine, mine will do it fine. I wish yeah. I had a lower gear. It's just loose rock, so I don't know if these other ones traction wise. Yeah, you done good. Yeah. I, I think I might give you a full, a full A on this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go look at options of doing recovery with nothing more than a snatch block and the Morver. You'd think a desert plant would have, would, have a, would have a good hold on the desert. I'm halfway convinced that this is an air plant and it will continue living like that. <laughs> <laughs> I could hook right here. If there's another tree we can pull straight up. back. Spin it. But then I've got to back down so that won't work. If that plant was gone I could get past this. Well you can back down a ways. We just <clears> gotta get this thing up on the road, right? Right. We could make that plant gone. We know how. Yeah. Blow on it. What happens if the wheel <laughs> turned the other way and we pull backwards? I would hook really low down here. Well I don't think this thing's gonna drive backwards though, because of this bump right here. Is it just dirt? Grass. We got a hook right here. Once again, this could be done very very slowly it's just you don't want to be in there not if I don't have to so what you're just gonna try and pull backwards yeah you're gonna turn your wheels the other way yes you want me in it no I don't want anybody in it oh pull it out super super slow okay we're gonna get everybody in position before we do anything Feel about this, Rudy? Comment below if you think this setup will work. <laughs> Set that parking brake hard. Okay, Rudy, what I'm trying to do is skid the back wheels and roll the front wheels. Yeah. Johnny, I need you and Tucker on this, All right. pulling this way. So the setup we have right now is transmission in neutral, transfer case in neutral, and the rear park brake on. I guess it's only a rear park brake, but that lever's pulled as hard as I can. So the front, brake, front wheels can just roll free. We're gonna pull it three inches here. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, break off, yep. but get ready to put it on. Yep. You guys ready? Yeah, I think so. Working. Coming over, man. You're off the brake, Rudy? Okay, Rudy, put it back in four wheel drive. Okay. Let it roll. Let it roll. That what happens if we turn the wheel the other way? Just try to drive. Try to drive for a second. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. 
I'm thinking of snatching again. This is in the rocks. I like that better. All right. Rudy, kill it and get out. Okay, we're running a snatch off that next bush up. Thank you, whoever that is. I got you, Rudy. Stop. You see, stop. <laughs> see, you're a connoisseur of ropes. I've got a lot of fine ropes. I need as many people on this as in the triangle of death as possible, Dude. Rudy. You need to be in the chief of death. Bye. See you guys. Let's go. Hey, on the hunt. I don't know if I'm doing anything at this point, but it looks cool. Look, Mom! Ooh. A little to the right, barely, though. Okay. It's still not coming up. It will in a second. I'm losing it. All right. That's some good driving, Rudy. make it from here they're not it's not the worst leg shakes, shakes I've ever got but I've got them and tell the truth honestly I didn't think we could make it up this I wasn't worried about after the turn but once it was getting to that turn that I didn't think we could do
in the way. Rudy said this was a good road. Well, just comparatively. Comparatively. I'll give him that. Do you know why? Because you you effectively pulled the pin on the grenade, which is your front Dana 30. Oh, yeah. Well, Ryan, how was your first day of being a cameraman? It was pretty, pretty stressful, man. This is the only one job we've done that I've been worried about. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I was supposed to come up that way. Yeah. yeah. Go up there. You're gonna be super pissed. When you see how nice this road is. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the plan is because Rudy and Trevor left the camera on the trail, they've got to go down there and get it. But they're going to walk down the way we came up and we'll meet them down there. Tucker. Yeah. Hi, Tucker. Tucker's going to be driving Rudy's Jeep. I'm going to be driving the Morver. And Johnny and Ryan, they're going to be following us. Yeah. We're glad to have it out. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make a good Ed. So that was that. That was. The, the sketchiest thing I've ever done. I mean, I've done, I've had moments more sketchy than that, but I haven't had like hours that sketchy. So thank you for that. That's gonna be hard to top. Please don't try to top it. Boom. Yeah, we could have done without that. <laughs> there, okay. I'll try. Thank you. Thank you. That's how you give a shirt. Ryan's a pretty cool guy. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with him, getting his Jeep off the mountain. He helped film. Yeah, he, a lot of this is here because of him. All of this is here because of him. Yeah. <laughs> big, big shout out to Johnny Boy for stopping whatever you were doing today, coming out here and just here for the fun, that's all. And you've got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And we're going yeah, to Denny's. He's got to go back up there. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to Denny's. Yay! Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, what's up, little camera? Hey, buddy. Yeah, there's your mama.